we've had to cancel the event. It's a fucking nightmare to be quite honest with you. It's very disappointing. It is, yeah. While most people see problems, entrepreneurs, they see opportunities. Hi, thanks. So at Hello, Edinburgh thanks. Zoo, this is potentially going to be where we host the very first Edinburgh Masterclass event. So we're speaking to Elaine, Business Development Manager at the Zoo, about what is available, what facilities do they have, and we're in a fantastic space here with all the animals. The lemur, right, and we've got the penguin rock and the penguins. And actually, as Elaine said, there's a tranquil feel about it. So not only are you getting some great business done and networking done, but you're actually doing it in the comfort of a zoo where there is just a great atmosphere. Coming up tomorrow for our wedding show rounds. So this is what we call the Gillespie room. Okay. And then we have in here what we call the Geddes room. Right. So it's an L-shaped room. Wait, where are you? I, I, me and Leila first met when it was what, which just means Steve. And then Nori joined us, and then, you know. Um, and so we went and done an interview. Have you heard of James Sinclair? Hey guys, I'm James Sinclair. I've been running businesses over 15 years now. We employ hundreds of people. Uh, we've got those businesses that we still run today, over 11 different locations. So running a really good strategy on how we run those effectively is very important. Honestly, like, incredible businessman. Yeah, really, you would really like him. A lot of energy, a bit daft. He was, he was a clown, he was an entertainer. He was a clown. Not a scary clown, but a nice clown. <laughs> so this is a real big potential place that hopefully we can host some of our events in in the coming future. I don't have the time or just going to get that. I'll get that now, yeah, just first. Hi mate, how are we doing? I've been in the I could feel my phone going mad, yeah. so I've just sent a few emails there. Uh, and so we're arranging Glasgow and Edinburgh Masterclass. We're going to look at Edinburgh Zoo for conference facilities. And talk about going places that are a bit different, talk about being you know, standing out from a crowd and having a USP, Edinburgh Zoo have exactly that from a venue perspective because we're talking about hosting the Edinburgh Masterclass here in Edinburgh Zoo. They've got great conference facilities, they've got a lot of little quirky features and they definitely have some USPs that are different from most venues. And this is certainly high on the list of possibilities for when it comes to Edinburgh Masterclass. They're also very helpful in building the network and spreading the word about the event as well. You know, they're going to put us in touch with a lot of networking events and a lot of influential people. So, yeah, like I say, we've done a tour of it, we've seen some of the facilities. So, time will tell. We're still trying to just nail it down where it exactly it is, but... This is the worst public health crisis for a generation. Advisors have warned that people will need to avoid unnecessary social contact the situation with coronavirus. We're hearing people are choosing to work from home. Yeah, 300 billion pounds of government backed loans for businesses across the UK that will undoubtedly really struggle. The, the Glasgow and Edinburgh Masterclass has been postponed. We've had to cancel the event. It's a fucking nightmare, to be quite honest with you. It's very disappointing. It yeah. We will recommence it. We've let go a couple of people. Um, I've done a lot of thinking, a lot of planning. We're rechanging our mar marketing strategy big time. There's a few key things that I'm focusing on because there's going to be a lot of things in the business that we're going to have to change. But the key thing being is that we were used to going to like big events. One of the ways we get generate inquiries is events. Yes. We've done the Creative Craft Show, that we do about 30 or 40 events a year. Um, they are clients that need us right now. But that is our main way of doing business. Another way that we can have more strategic ways, we work with a lot of financial advisors, mortgage brokers, people in the professional financial services, but professional services accountants, and we offer services to their clients. We probably won't have any events for the rest of this year. Any large yeah. events until next year, you know, 95% of our appointments, our inquiries came from these events. We have just no new inquiries. That's a weakness. And this is why they talk about experience being so important in business, because now I know that, and I will make sure that I never rely on one person again, or one lead source again, or one product or service again. I'll never rely on that. What we are now going to do is we're going to look at four, four different ways to market and advertise. The first one is old-fashioned traditional newspapers. 
local newspapers. The type of clients that we go after, the retired people, are still buying newspapers. And so they'll still be reading them and we will be offering telephone consultations and that advert will be there. The second thing is national newspapers. So again, we're going to look at advertising in national newspapers. The third thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the radio. So we like the idea of getting back on the airwaves. Radio, people listening to the radio is up 30% right now. And newspaper, people reading newspapers is also up, not by as much as radio, but it's also up, up by 30%. Finally, we're going to look at our online presence. The online presence is we're going to have multiple landing pages. We're then going to optimize those landing pages and drive traffic to those landing pages and then the people will punch in there. We're going to have live chat. They will be able to download some guides, some help and advice on the relevant matter. If they just want a phone call, they can just fill out a standard form to say, yeah, give me a phone to discuss this. So there'll be live chat, a downloadable document which they need to put their details in and then we can remarket to them. Or they can be a give me a phone call now and then we'll phone them back within 24 hours. So we're going to put some budget behind that. We're going to get them creative. I think between doing a blend of them all, we will increase and then we will continue to do that. And then when we can, we will add the events back into it and our revenue grows. I was on the phone to Coach Michael Burt, who has became quite a close mentor of mine. And he kind of really summarised it two ways. He said, he says that you need, uh, people are always thinking that they need more money and they don't need more money. What they need is they need more people, more leads, more inquiries, and you need to get better at converting them. So you need to improve your conversions and get more people. More people and improve your conversions. If you can get more people, i.e. more leads, more inquiries, and you can make sure that you convert them better than you're currently doing right now, by default, you will get more money. And that's really what I'm trying to focus in on. Look, I'm not upset, but like our business was going along nicely. But there is a danger to that as well. See if this didn't happen, Boomer. I think that we, me as a business owner, I could have quite easily, I would, I would like to say this wouldn't happen, but it, it probably could have happened. And I think the danger is it could happen for lots of people, is that see in two or three years, fast forward two or three years, we could still be in the same position. Do you know what I mean? There's a danger that because things were going okay, you just, you know, you go just along and you just marginally get a little bit better. What happens is when you get a shock to the system like this, when your business gets punched in the face like this, then you come back better. Now, when we go back to normal, I will have five or six methods of actually, more than that, seven or eight methods of getting inquiries into the business. So let's just see next year when the events business goes out of business. It doesn't really worry me really because worry. I've got multiple other sources of getting business in. What this disruption does is there is winners and losers from this and that's just the way that it is. There will be people that will lose and it's unfortunate but that's life and that is business. But the people that win will learn, will re-educate will re sort of um, rediscover their business in a new way, new thing, new methods, new products, new services, new people. And, um, and, and they will go on to bigger and better things. So from my perspective, from a, as a business owner, this is my heart attack. This is my scale. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to make some changes to my business, to my lifestyle, essentially. And, and it's going to be for the better. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that this has happened. I'm safe and I've survived it. Now it's time to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again in my business. Mm. So, so that's why I'm quite grateful. Uh, in a weird way, I'm quite grateful that this has happened. I understand I'm not like playing down the, the damage that it's caused elsewhere. And it's caused damage mm. to my life and my business and whatever. But I do see the lesson already that I've learned from this. I do see the the mindset shift or the way I've got to I've got to view this whole fucking shitstorm and I've realized that I've got to improve things.